We are here with some Bravo breaking news of the day. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay in the know about all your favorite housewives and Bravo celebrities. But today we are talking Kathy Hilton. That's right. We got a video from TMZ where they seem to stop Kathy on the street in Beverly Hills. She was with Faye Resnick and she was asked some questions about her relationship with Kyle, where she stands with the show. So Kim, what were your first thoughts? I mean, the morally corrupt Faye Resnick by her <laughs> side. Oh my God, that's who it is. The morally corrupt Faye Resnick. First of all, iconic. <laughs> and second of all, like of all media outlets, she chooses to speak to TMZ like out on the street. Like it's a little odd, but hey, I'll take it. Do you think it was arranged? I don't know. You know, they say that, you know, paparazzi are never just there. They're always called. So who knows? But basically, they kind of come at her with where her relationship is with Kyle right now. And basically, it's non-existent. You can tell that by her answer. Um, we will see. And she kind of explains how she wishes she were supported by Kyle earlier on. I would have liked some support since... Uh, a little more support earlier. What do you think about that response? Mm -hmm. I honestly, I am just a little bit confused by this because what does she expect from Kyle? Like Kathy's the one who said very bad things about Kyle, you know, to her admission. I started ranting and venting and I didn't think that they would get back to you. And she expects Kyle to turn around and just be there and support her right away. Like, I, I think I would need some time to sort of get over what was said about me before I'm going to turn around and then support my sister. I mean, I don't know. Their, their relationship is very complicated. You can tell that there's so much history there. But I just don't understand. It's not sitting right with me that Kathy's the one who said these horrible things about Kyle, yet Kyle has somehow become the villain in the situation and Kathy has become the victim. So I'm just, I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around this. I agree. I agree. It's um a little twisted. I think what Kathy is really saying is that Kyle should have taken her side over Rena's. And it kind of seems like, you know, all the ladies are kind of ganging up against Kathy, even though Kathy did say these things about Kyle. Kyle's kind of siding with Rena, with Rena and Erica, to be exact, who Kathy is just like completely over it. Like she, mm -hmm. you know, kind of gives us some insights into what went down that night in Aspen, or at least how she feels about it. Like, why would Rinna, if she was really afraid and thinks Kathy needs help, why would she reach out to Erica? Erica, Erica, why is she calling Erica? And not like reach out to somebody who could maybe help. Kyle, my husband, production. I don't know. And I think that's a fair point. You know, I think if, if it were me in the situation, yeah, the first person I'm going to text is going to be that person's sister if they're on the trip with us. So, you know, I think that's a fair point. Um, she claims that, you know, this was a setup. This was a setup the whole time. Which is is kind of an interesting theory. I'm not sure that it was, you know, premeditated, but yeah, Lisa Rita knows a storyline when she sees one and she's going to run with it. And I do think that, you know, Lisa making the choice to leave with Kathy in the Sprinter van from Caribou Club, I think was a little bit calculated because she could see that, you know, Kathy was worked up. There was obviously, you know, some commotion going on at the club. And I think she potentially saw an opportunity um, to sort of catch Kathy in a moment where she's not her best. I totally think it was a setup by Rena. I think Rena saw an opportunity and took it and ran with it and is continuing to run with it. And who knows when she's going to stop running. It's just going to keep going, I think. Um, and that, um, you know, kind of leads me to Kathy's next point, which is, is she going to come back to the show? And mm -hmm. basically, it's like she's giving Bravo an ultimatum. If it was completely the same, absolutely not. 
change the cast or I am not coming back. She does not want to work with the women anymore. And by women, she means Erica and Lisa, the biggest bullies in Hollywood. She refuses to work with them. And so now that puts Bravo in a position. They have to choose between their two biggest villains on the show Mm -hmm. or one of their most loved characters, Kathy Hilton. Howdy, ma'am. What do you think they're going to do? (laughs) I was just going to ask you, how do you think it's all going to shake out? Um, my gut says that Kathy won't be coming back because I think for her, it's just not worth it. She doesn't need this. You know, she has plenty of other things going on in her life. And I think that for her, it's just not worth it. Um, think of all the scrutiny that she has come under, you know, that it wouldn't have been that way had she not agreed to do this show. And I, I just don't know that Bravo is going to, get rid of Rinna and Erica, like you said, they cause conflict. If you come from my husband and kids, I will cut you down. It's like, we love to hate them, right? But the reality is without them, we'd probably be sitting here saying, oh, it's boring. There's nothing happening. So I don't think that we're going to see Kathy back next year, unfortunately. It's a tough, tough pill to swallow for me. And I feel (laughs) like a lot of other viewers, but I don't think that, unfortunately, Bravo is going to get rid of Erica and Lisa. So I think that this might be Kathy's last season. You know, we have the reunion coming up next week. Make sure to watch our recaps. And for now, I guess it'll just be Faye having Kathy's back. I know her heart. I know who she is. She's just amazing. And... Maybe we can see it all play out in the media, but I don't think we're going to unfortunately be seeing it play out on Bravo anymore. I don't think so either. So the uh, Faye is an interesting character because her and Kyle also have a very close friendship. She's a very close family friend. I consider her like a sister. So I, I wonder, you know, how she is kind of fitting into this. Is, she, is this her sort of choosing Kathy's side or is she managing to sort of, you know, uh, be the mediator and kind of, you know, stay friends with both of them. What do you think? That's an interesting thought. I do not know. I mean, the video, it appears that she is, you know, standing by Kathy's side. I feel like I need to do a Faye Resnick deep dive on social and see what she's been posting and who she's been kind of backing up because I think she, she kind of does play a big role in the Richard sister relationship. She's, um, Mm -hmm. you know, basically part of the family. So Time will tell. Yep, I guess it will. Lisa, thanks for joining me and breaking this all down. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay in the know about all the Kathy, Real Housewives, and Bravo updates as they happen. Thanks, everyone. Bye.